me. Focus on me, goddammit. Hello? I'm the focus. Hello? Oh. <coughs> my setup's kind of cool, isn't it? No, it's not. I just tried to make it look cool. Do you do you like my, uh, my cutie anime girl shirt? Look at, you like that? You, you like her cutie dasu nya nya? Cute little cat girl in her maid outfit? Look, I keep putting off doing the blogs because I'm just like, every day I wake up and it's, it's one of those things where when you start procrastinating, you procrastinate more and more and more. And then it's, ow, it spirals out of control. There's a chair here. And uh, also, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not quite, I'm not really good at, at this, at blogging, I think. And I keep messing with my bangs. I realize that this is a nervous tick. I, I mess with my bangs a lot. So I mean, like I've been watching other bloggers. <laughs> PewDiePie, I like PewDiePie. I've gotten into this hole of procrastination and it's just kind of like, once you're in it, you can't get out. And then the next day you wake up, you're like, I'm a piece of shit already anyway. Why the fuck would I try today? It, it takes me effort to do my hair and not makeup. Just my little bit of makeup that I know how to do. And I always wake up and because I'm already feeling that good old sense of dread and procrastination, I'm just like, I'm not gonna, I do not want to burn my hair today. I do not want to put sludge on my face today. I don't want to do none of that. Oh, <laughs> bye bye Because I'm all girly, I just, I feel like I need to really try hard and look pretty or something like that. Because I mean, like, why would you, the viewer, want to watch a girl, a girl talk about her life and her problems if she ain't cute? Like, look, I don't want to try and look, too, I don't want to try too hard to look super pretty. But you guys want me to make content. So how about the middle ground of me looking semi-okay with content? I thought maybe that would probably work out for all of us. I still tried to make the effort to to blog this because I told myself I would using this camera, this really pretty camera. But I just don't know how to blog. Like, I just don't know at what point in my day to be like, hmm, you know what, right now, blog. Right now would be a good time to blog and make it seem natural and not forced, like as if you're along with me in the day. How do you know when to blog? And so I, I don't know. It feels very unnatural. It feels like I'm still trying to put on a show and that's obviously not what I'm trying to do. That's not the point of blogging. I just feel like I need a lot more practice in doing the blogging thing and so like that's another reason why I haven't posted anything yet because I, I'm like scattered, it's a mess. So uh, I gave up <laughs> and I'm just like, you know what? Because this morning again with the dread and the procrastination, I woke up and I did my hair into these little porny poofy pigtails and I thought okay maybe I should just if, if if any of you are anything like me you if you're at work or if you're at home you like to do that thing where you make yourself a meal you know like watching TV and eating and then uh, you plop down at your computer and you open yourself up some YouTube and it can be about anything right like for PewDiePie <laughs> it, it can be about absolutely anything he could just stand there he can talk about literally anything and it will entertain me for the 10 minutes it takes me to eat my food people just want to hear something in that same vein, maybe, maybe you guys would feel like that towards me. I don't know if my voice is soothing. I'm kidding, I think it is. Again, going back to I have no idea how to blog. I didn't write a script or anything, so I don't know, I didn't know when to blog and um, I don't know what all I have of footage to talk about. So I, I guess I'm just gonna talk now and then hopefully give exposition shots God, this is weird, right? Like, it's weird explaining what I'm gonna do for editing, right? Oh, fuck. It's really weird that I'm doing um, blogs like this, standing up. People look more interesting, entertaining, and also um, animated. And, but to me, I'm awkward. I'm fucking awkward. I don't know what to do. I'm just kind of hoping that by moving, you guys are like, oh, that's cute. She's Aw, she's trying. Or or if you don't know any better and you're someone who like, you don't have a standard and you're just like, a slouched over is fine, then maybe my movements are like, wow, she's really, she's so animated. <laughs> uh, I wanted to give an update on my life, right? Cause what was the last thing I posted? I legitimately feel like I don't have any worth. And some days I really do feel like I just want to quit as if I could. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> That, that's really dark. So like, what, what's been going on, Sandy? I don't know if it was luck. I don't know if it's just because I'm a protagonist and things happen to work out for me. But what ended up happening within my first week, I moved in to, to their place 
all within the span of two days, went to a dealership, I found the perfect car. And so I, I thought about it and I'm like, I want a car that just looks cool. Because when I bought my first car, I, I had no idea what I was doing. It was, a, it was a little Kia Forte and I didn't treat it well. I, it was, I was a dumb kid. I'm, I'm sorry, Mary, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Mary. Because it, it was only like $15,000 for 20,000 miles. And then I had $5,000 from my total car loss. They gave me money for the car. Apparently that's how that works. God, that sounds so young of me, right? I, I don't know. I've never lost the car for being stupid. I got those $5,000 that I could put down towards it. So then in the end, it would only be $10,000 to pay off and you know, like $300 monthly payments. So that just worked out really, really well. My mom was on board. She, uh, she really took it upon herself to just help me. She ended up seeing my video, which terrified me because I thought Typically when things like this happen, when I out her like this, like when I've done it on Facebook as I was younger, she would become very upset, right? Because it's like airing out someone's dirty laundry. So when, when I saw that she messaged me, I was terrified because I really thought that it was going to be, I just, I wasn't, I didn't know what to expect, but I thought it would be negative because I've never seen anything otherwise. It wasn't exactly what I wanted, Right, it wasn't like the profound apology that I wanted because we're not quite there yet, but she really took it upon herself to admit a lot and she wanted to help me. She felt really bad. And the thing is, is that I, I've been lying to her for months because I, I just don't, one, I don't want her to worry because that's like a child obligation to their parents. You don't want to worry them, but also because I didn't want her to, to I just didn't want to hear her talk shit. I didn't want her to to bash me or berate me or anything. I didn't want to hear it. So I lied to her for months that I've been doing okay and that I had a job and everything was fine. I don't know. I, I can't speak for how it made her think, but I want to assume that it was something along the lines of like realization. Now give me a second. <sighs> My mom was on board. She co-signed because <laughs> credit. Not even a week after my car crash, I had a new car. And I wanted to tell you guys too, for every single one of you who donated and all the money, like if you're wondering where it went, not only is it to help me eat, I, I received a lot of donations and I mean a lot of donations. And all of that money is going to my car. How, 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 do, I, how do I articulate eloquently the feeling of someone helping you pay for your mistake. <laughs> That's crazy. You guys are helping me pay for a big, big, big mistake. It's a lot. And I, I, I didn't know how else to like really, really, really thank you guys. I mean, if you've ever questioned, am I a kind person? Then imagine someone essentially helping you buy a car. That's kind of how I feel, but by tons of you. <laughs> uh, lucky for me, my two friends lived in the exact same apartment complex, literally down the hallway from each other, like in an L shape. So they wouldn't feel overwhelmed with having someone couch surf, understandably so. I would one week stay with one friend and then the other week stay with the other friend and I just swap between the two. And uh, I mean, you know, uh, going into that, we, we all can just assume how stressful that can be for everyone involved, right? Like they're doing something extremely altruistic, letting me encroach in their space, but that's exactly what it is. It made a lot of sense for me to feel kind of like a foreign object, right? Where it's like, it's not that I, I wasn't welcomed, but I didn't belong there. It's very stressful, but I, I, can't, I didn't have any room to complain. It was a very, very long month of me living with these girls and having to flip flop back and forth. And because of the type of person that I am, I let the fire of guilt burn under my ass so hard. It kills me. I have to constantly be doing things or I succumb to my anxiety of I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm being useless. I'm not making use of my time. I guess I, I'm very efficient or not efficient though, because I, I, I don't do anything productive. I just need to do things. So never mind. But the point being is feel like I need to keep being useful. I can't just take a day to relax, which obviously, uh, as you can tell, that's not good for a person. I feel like I can't control this 
my my feelings. I feel like I just, I can't control it. it I mean, like, I, I guess I'm stressed, but everything I do to try and relax doesn't do anything. Like sleeping, like I can't sleep anymore. I'm like an old person. I, I wake up at five every morning without fail, without an alarm. I wake up at five and then I go to sleep at, at 10. I miss, I miss sleeping in. I forgot what that was like. And I, I know I'm tense. I'm, I'm tense right now, just uh, standing here and thinking about what to say. Like, I have a lump in my throat. I, I think everyone should. When you're in a situation like couch surfing with your friends, it, you take on this role of, of servitude in a way because you're, you're, so, you're in so much of their debt of gratitude towards them that you, you kind of just have to do everything you can to just, to just not. The way one of my friends just described it, it is kind of like a, a mother and child with the empower balance, right? Where it's like, you know, they would come home and they'd be like, hey, how's it going? And I'm just like, hey, just another day of still being here in your way. So I could tell that I was going way out of my way to, to, to clean everything like a little maid. But I, that also was, I found cathartic to me. Again, because of the, the I need to do constantly things. I cleaned a lot, I cooked a lot, I baked a lot, <laughs> but I definitely wanted to get away, right? Because I think I can only be nice and subservient for so long before my own pride starts hurting and my own, that horrible feeling of like, you are not happy, stop it. As I was going out of my way to just constantly try my best to, to make everything good, we would throw a lot of parties and they would be, fun. well, not a ton, but we, we threw a couple of them and they were fun. We drank and we cooked and we slit open some fish. <laughs> that was fun. But you know, like I met other people and I constantly kept spreading my story. And the thing is, what's cool about me is that, I don't know, I, either I have a good way of talking with people or the people I'm meeting now are people who are in a position and have the compassion to want to help me because everyone that I knew in my life before either were too young to understand or you know what I mean I'm just around a bunch of cool adults is what I'm getting at one of one of those uh, girls that I met at the party was she 3d prints and makes toys it, you know, freelance, um, and she also has worked for Disney. The timing happened to work out. She was like, hey, I need someone to cat sit for me. Hello? Hi. God damn it. Damn it, cat. Do you, do you want to like, you know, just move into my place? Finally, a huge, huge weight was lifted off my shoulders because for the last eight days, I've been living here in this place. As you can see, she has a lot of figures. It's been going pretty okay. Like all things considered, the overall message of this is it's, how are you Sandy? It's, it's going pretty okay. I think it's, it's a hell of a lot better than I was before. And that's, that's good. That's, that's what we wanted, right? That's what everyone wanted. I assume this was the general consensus. And for those of you who are like, nah, damn it. She's, she's getting out of the hole, fuck wanted her to suffer for a little while longer. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry, I won. I win. Or I'm winning. <laughs> oh, I have shit posture. Oh, you hear that shit? Oh my God. I wanna continue doing blogs, um, obviously. And if I'm lucky, I want to get to a point where I make enough money per video on Patreon so that I can hire an editor. Because currently, right, I have so much on my plate and I can't do it all. For now, I'm just gonna try my best to do these blogs as often as I can. Hopefully, the, the hope is weekly and then maybe someday PewDiePie levels of every single day. In any case, I will see you guys for the next blog, whenever I have an opinion on something. See, cause I write down all my fucking ideas, right? And then I just don't do anything about it. Oh, I procrastinate so much. I procrastinate so much. <laughs> all right, well, I don't have an outro. Maybe someday I'll be able to have it. <laughs> Goodbye, bye. Bye works, right? <laughs> How do I turn it off? Oh. Fuck you, cat. All right. I'm recording. Please. <laughs> Please record her singing that. My clam is fine. What My is, clam's not Why do you farting. like the clam so much, Joyce? You fart. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Please.
Let me see. They're so cute. I don't see them farting, but 